This is World Tonight. Good evening, I'm Paul Sung. Tonight's top stories, Ukrainian fighters say Russia is breaking a ceasefire to evacuate civilians in Mariupol, but the Kremlin denies attacking the other star steel plant. Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida unveils new sanctions against Russia. He's also drawn parallels between Ukraine and Taiwan. The World Health Organization estimates the true pandemic death toll at nearly 15 million, three times the officially reported deaths. President Xi Jinping says China's battle against coronavirus is at a critical stage, telling top officials zero COVID is the way to go. The global monetary tightening movement rolls on. The Bank of England joins the US Fed and a number of Asian central banks in raising rates to tame inflation. Hello, I'm Dawn Tan. Also tonight, Britain and Europe's food and beverage industries struggle with rising costs as Russia's war in Ukraine drags on. And just days to go to the high-stakes Philippine elections, where thousands of leadership positions, including the next president, will be decided. Ukrainian fighters have accused Russia of breaking a ceasefire in Mariupol. Scores of civilians are still trapped in the Azerstal steelworks, the last Ukrainian holdout in the devastated city. The Kremlin has denied attacks on Azerstal, saying humanitarian corridors are running as agreed. Ukraine's fundraising efforts are gathering steam. International donors have pledged $6.5 billion at a conference in Poland. Since the war began in February, Ukraine says it has received more than $12 billion in weapons and financial aid. President Volodymyr Zelensky has also launched a global crowdfunding platform. This is to boost his Ukraine's defense and rebuild its infrastructure as Russia shows no sign of slowing its offensive.